Welcome, my name is Thomas Letford. I'm here to talk about in this video, employee versus self-employed. And so this can be based on my experience of being both and which one I recommend if I had to choose between the two, uh, which I'll cover in this video. Uh, so the first one we'll go over is being an employee. And the first issue with being an employee is no control over your income. The next issue is no job security. The next issue would be longer hours for you were workers. And the next issue is limited Promotion, promotion, little room at the top, and living a check to a check. So the next issues. Uh, will be self-employed. Uh, the fancy thing about being self-employed is you own a job. Uh, the next thing is limited expansion. Hard to grow. Twenty-four hours per day, seven days a week, and when you quit, so does your income, and so that's the difference between the two guys. When we've been in both uh, categories before, starting out like a lot of people did, being an employee, then evolving into a self-employed, and even being both, uh, if I had to choose between the two, it would be definitely self-employment hands down. With self-employment, I've been able to make more money working for myself than I ever made working for a job, because the key difference between self-employed individuals and Employees is I get to control how much money I make. I get to control the movement I make. I get to control the hours I make. I get to control uh, my time. I get to control uh, everything about my lifestyle. It's all in my hands. And so that's the difference between self-employed versus employee. I don't have to raise my hand and use the washroom. I don't have to raise my hand to call in because uh, I ain't feeling good. I don't have to raise my hand to, uh, for a vacation. I don't have to raise my hand to get personal days. Uh, so uh, when it comes to being self-employed, which I've been for many years, I have the flexibility of doing whatever I want to do with my time and still make a great living in the process. So if I had to choose between the two guys, it would definitely be self-employment. And inside my business, it was a point where I had employees working for me. And so during that period of time, if I never showed up again, it was okay because my company made money hand over fist with or without me. And so that's where you want to shift to from self-employment, which is a person who starts out with a business who has to do all the work to generate income. But it's okay because I made a gang of money uh, being a one-man show than I ever did working for a, 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 a job. So if I had to choose between the two, it would definitely be self-employment. But I got my business to the point where I was able to hire workers and not have to show up. I was able to take vacations and live the lifestyle I wanted to live. And my business still made money because I grew my business to the point I was able to do that. And so that's where you want to shift to from self-employed person where you're the one man show to now you get enough business in, generate enough revenue where you can hire people to run the business for you and give you the freedom you want to have to enjoy with you and your family. 
So that's my take on it, guys. Employee versus self-employed. Hands down, self-employment is the way to go. In my next video, I'm going to talk about uh, self-employment versus uh, a hybrid opportunity uh, that's going to position you where you're going to start out self-employed, but it's going to position you to move to uh, the business realm where now you're going to build a team of people who are going to go out and generate income where if you make money on your own or not, you have people uh, that's with you that's generate money that you get paid from. And so that's what my next video will be about. And it'll be called self-employed versus uh, the next best thing uh, in my next video. So guys, I'd like to see you in my next video and uh, see you uh, on the internet.